so much. Well, get your tickets now. They are on sale for the Columbia Parks and Recreation Foundation's annual legacy event where former Gamecock, Gamecock great, of mm -hmm. course, also two-time WNBA champion Asia Wilson will be awarded. She is being recognized for her contributions to Columbia's parks and her long list, long list, okay, <laughs> of professional achievements. Joining us today to tell us more about this superstar event, Lee Snellgrove, the Arts and Culture Manager from the Richland Library. Uh, Lee, so great to have you with well, us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So tell us about this event. I'm so excited. I'm going to be there to MC and help kick it off. We know Asia likes to turn up, as we have seen <laughs> from the WNBA Championship celebration. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a great time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great event. I think we, we're looking forward to it. The Legacy event is a way that the Parks Foundation recognizes the contributions of people to mm -hmm. the park system. Mm -hmm. um, Asia was instrumental in painting the uh, basketball courts at Hyatt Park yes. uh, and yes. making that project happen. And so the Parks Foundation really wanted to recognize that. And I hear the city has a few surprises uh, oh. for recognizing Asia's you know, ambassadorship for Columbia. Absolutely. It's nothing like being honored by your hometown. I can only imagine what that means for her on the national stage and even globally. I know mm -hmm. that she has fans all around the world, but to come back home and to be honored, I know that is most likely a big deal for her, but how does it feel for the community to actually be a part of honoring who we now know as one of the greatest Gamecocks to ever Across the path of USC. Well, I think we're, I mean, it's exciting that, you know, people realize that Columbia is a basketball town. Mm -hmm. uh, our parks are full of people playing basketball in community leagues, and it, it shows it off. And she's such a great ambassador for who we are as a people in Columbia. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's exciting that she's coming back and we're able to celebrate. You know, Asia has always made a point of giving back to the community. She's such a role model, not just for little girls, for little boys too, you yeah. know? For sure. What is it that you want? I mean, when you look at the foundation and your mission, what is the connection you want kids to make when they have this opportunity to meet Asia one-on-one, -on -one, to see the way that she's being honored in the community by the foundation, her statue over at Colonial Life mm -hmm. Arena? What are the connections you want to be inspired in them? I mean, I, we, our role is to really promote the parks and yeah. what is going on in the parks. And also we uh, serve as a conduit for a lot of grant money that helps programs in the parks. Those are the kids that get benefit right. for uh, that kind of thing, playing in sports leagues, participating in community events. Um, we've had projects where we've supported bicycles for uh, young people that excelled in school. And <coughs> so I think that's an opportunity for them to see another Colombian who's done well for themselves and really use their skills to really show off Columbia. Yeah, and how can the community continue to add to those contributions? Uh, we know the proceeds from this event going towards some amazing things. Definitely. The, the Parks Foundation uses this event every year as a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. So any ticket sales uh, proceeds go back into programming that will support the City of Columbia's Parks Department. And we've talked so much about, you know, a lot of the different issues that we cover on the news. I was going to say every week, but it seems mm -hmm. like every day now. Yeah. Having access to the programs that you all provide, that is so key. I mean, that's just an investment that we need to make in the community that pays off in so many ways, Lee, that we might not be able to just point to specifically, but in intangible and invaluable ways that really help build a better future. For sure. Our parks are such a treasure that we have in Columbia, and I think they're often underappreciated by what they provide people mm -hmm. and, and what makes a better quality of life here in Columbia. That's so amazing. And uh, at this event, what can people expect? What is the layout? I know that, as Judy mentioned, it's going to be fun, a lot of turning <laughs> up because that's what Aja likes to do. So for the community, what can they expect when they come out? Well, we have an all-star MC that's going to lead us through a program. <laughs> uh, it start off, we'll have some food and drink mm -hmm. available um, for people to attend. And then we've got a great DJ um, that's coming. DJ Lady Marauder um, will be there spinning records. Uh, we'll have a program where we talk about Asia's accomplishments and the role of the Parks Foundation. I think, like I said, the city's got some surprises in store mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. recognizing Asia Wilson. And then uh, we'll have an opportunity for some meet and greet afterwards. Nice. That's what, and we're encouraging everybody to wear their kicks, right? Yes, I mean, for whenever sure. we yeah, get together you. with Asia, we got to wear our kicks. Absolutely. It's a great opportunity to wear your finest sneakers. <laughs> I love it. Day. I love it. And now with the DJ coming, are we going to have a chance to dance, Lee? I think so. Okay, I mean, well, not, a, not a dance floor, but okay. can't you dance anywhere? <laughs> yeah, well, listen, it, you know Asia can dance anywhere, too. Yeah. So what are the details? Because I know uh, ticket sales are going great, 
right, but we want everybody to get locked in. You don't yeah, want to wait until sure. the last minute. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, so right now they can find it on the Parks and Rec Foundation's website, which is just off of the city's website. Okay. Under events, you can find it there, or you can just search on Eventbrite. Yeah. Um, search for the Columbia Parks and Rec Foundation, and uh, or even use just Asia Wilson's name, and yeah. it'll come right up uh, for you to buy a ticket. Well, Tickets listen. are $100, um, yeah. and like I said, all that proceeds go directly to parks programming. Well, an investment in our community, and it's a great opportunity for kids, the meet and greet part, because you know, Asia has her new yeah. book coming out at the beginning of mm -hmm. the year, so get your photo snapped, you know what yeah, I mean? That's have gonna a be good time with the, with the champ, girl, yeah. with the champ. I know, that's yeah. going to be such an amazing experience to meet her, you know. Absolutely. And, I know that she'll be happy to come back home and do her thing. So that's amazing. We want you to be there as well for the annual Legacy Ceremony honoring the Aja Wilson, Monday, November 13th at 5.30 at the USC Alumni Center. We'll make sure to post this interview on WISTV.com so you can get all of the details. And big thanks to the Columbia Parks and Recreation Foundation, Lee, for you and your team for all that you do in our community. And I've already posted the link if you want to get tickets before they're oh, all nice. gone. Yeah. Make sure you get it. I just posted that link on my Facebook page. So we'll see you there. Lee, thank you very thank much. You. Thank, you. thank you. We'll be right back, everyone.